When Jesus said, seek first the kingdom, a lot of times we read that and we think we're doing it, or maybe we don't really even know what it means. I know for me, for many years going to church, I just kind of thought, okay, I'm seeking first the kingdom, I'm going to church, I'm reading my Bible, I go to small groups, I pray. That's not what it means to seek the kingdom. Seeking the kingdom first means this is what you make your decisions around. This is what you are always thinking about. You're not thinking about, you know, how, how am I gonna pay rent? You're not thinking about where are we gonna get our next meal? You're not thinking about, okay, what is my five-year plan? What is my 10-year plan? What, what am I gonna do for retirement? You're making all of your decisions around the kingdom of God. And what is best for the kingdom? How can you push the kingdom further out into the darkness? What can you do for God? Because our time here on earth is so short and we only, we only have a little bit of time to make a difference. We only have a little bit of time to bear fruit and be workers out in the harvest. So what can you do for the kingdom of God? That's what it means to seek the kingdom. It, the answer is different for everyone, but a lot of the times the answer is right there in the Bible. We know his commands are to love others with the same kind of love he showed for us. We know his commands are to make disciples. We know his commands are to preach the gospel. We have to find ways of doing those things. Seeking first the kingdom really means putting obedience to Jesus above everything else, always, and making that our first priority and the thing that we are focusing on and living for in everything we do. I felt like I would get up in the morning and spend an hour and a half reading all the things that I'm supposed to be doing, and then I would spend all day not doing it. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added to you. He was talking about what we're gonna eat, what we're going to drink, what we're going to wear. When he said that, he wasn't saying seek first the kingdom of God as opposed to living in sin and living like the world. He said, don't be like the Gentiles who are worried about what they're gonna eat and what they're gonna drink and what they're gonna wear. He was talking about what is it that you're building your life on? What are you focused on? And even when he compared to the Gentiles, the reason he said that was because Israel was supposed to be different than the Gentiles. In the law, Israel was told, if you obey my commands, then I will meet all your needs. You will have no poor among you. You will flourish, you will prosper. And Israel was not supposed to be worrying about their own needs because God was going to provide for them. So when Jesus said, don't be like the Gentiles, he was saying, don't be like these people. Be what I always had in store for you. Be people who are focused on me and my kingdom and my righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. Just like I promised Israel, I'm promising you. Seeking first the kingdom of God is, is not something we can just do on the side. It's not something we can just tack onto our lives. It's not something we just do on Sunday when we go to church. I don't think God intended for us to waste away our hours every day doing things that aren't important. He said, seek first the kingdom. He was contrasting that to worrying about provision and trying to make money and trying to make ends meet. He wasn't contrasting that to just being a heathen. He was talking about build your life around the kingdom. This is what's most important. This is what you should be doing. And oftentimes, that I think most times, that's not gonna look like working nine to five, nine to five, nine to five, doing secular work that has nothing to do with his kingdom. Maybe for some people, if they're using that time to reach people, but I think a lot of times we make excuses for not seeking the kingdom because it's uncomfortable to trust God. It's uncomfortable to, to put our faith in God to be our provider. We are supposed to view God as our provider. He will give us the food we need. He will give us the drink we need. He will give us the clothes to wear. He's going to meet our needs, but we have to live for him. If we're not living first and foremost for the kingdom, then this promise doesn't apply to us. God will provide when you seek first his kingdom, but you got to believe him. You have to put your faith in that. And faith doesn't mean you just believe it when you read it in a book. 
Faith means believe it so much you act on it.